Okay, hi guys again. Uh, now today we're going to do a bit of a morphing trick in Blender uh, using a particle, two different particle systems to blend between two uh, words. Uh, something like this. Magic Ooh, clouds. Okay, so let's get started. I'll just clear my old workspace and in top view hit spacebar I'll add text, hit the tab key, and then delete the text, type in the word magic, and we'll try and center that up. Always helps if these things are centered. Uh, bring it back to the middle, like so. And then we'll add the second word, another text, object, clouds, clouds. And we'll bring that uh, roughly to the middle as well. And I don't know why it jumps around like that. Something you guys could teach me about, maybe. Okay, so magic clouds. And then option C to convert the font to a mesh, or Alt-C. And for both of those we need to do it. So option C, convert to mesh. Okay, magic's going to be our first word. So we need to create a particle system, new particle system. We'll name this particle system magic and make the amount 4000. I have it start at what the first frame and end at the 10th frame and the life is 250 frames long. And we'll check random and even. And here the will Instead of midpoint, we'll use RK4. That's all we need to do for that one. And then for clouds, we need to add a particle system there. Call it clouds. Make that the same, 4,000. Uh, we'll make that start at 30 frames. So the morphing is going to start at 30 frames. And that will end at 40 frames. And we'll make the life... Uh, make the life 70. Okay, we'll collect both random and even and RK4 here and we don't want to visualize clouds because it'll be using the particle system uh, to arrange itself from the first word. So I'll click none there. Then we need to create uh, a halo material. So there we go, we've got Halo there, click Halo here in the render pipeline, go to shaders and we'll make the halo size much smaller so we can actually see the words, so point zero 0.05 and you'll see in the preview it's gone quite small so then we can start all over again because my wife's just come in. Thank you honey, love you. Okay, so that's applied it to, to the clouds, and then we apply the material to the, the word magic as well. And if I split the area here, and we'll make that the view, so control option zero on the number pad, and we'll make that the camera view as well. So alt A or option A, you can see magic, and it's not morphing because on the clouds we have to add a field in here, clouds, and make it harmonic, okay? And here under the field, so we've chosen clouds and harmonic. Strength will make, ooh, six. Damping will name one. And then if we Option A or Alt A, we'll see Magic, and then it morphs to Clouds. So if we go to our animation settings, and I'll do it as quick time, medium resolution, and hit the 
reanimate. You can see rendering the uh, the clouds for the word magic. We're up to frame about frame 20. By the time we get to frame 30, it'll start kicking into its morph and um, start crossing over to the word clouds. There we go. So it starts going across to the word clouds. And then you can finish by adding an MC and either putting a attaching a wind field so it blows the clouds away or a vortex field so it sucks them around um, like a tornado or whatever takes your fancy really so uh, just play with the settings settings and see what you come up